Flashinsky. I'm an engineer at Definity, and today I would like to show you how to verify the NSDAP upgrade proposal. Here, for example, users can manage their token, stake them in neurons, and use neurons to vote on proposals. But we are interested in verification of one specific type of proposal of the topic system canister management which is upgrade front-end NSDAP canister. So how do we know that this is the front-end? Here are details of this proposal. But because uh, the NSDAP wasm is quite big, there are icons, images, the payload is too big to be displayed here because uh, this NSDAP is 100% uh, on chain, which means uh, the DAP is hosted on the blockchain and the user data is retrieved uh, directly from the blockchain. So there is no hidden logic or any of chain manipulation, which is good. That's why to do the proper verification, let's switch to the dashboard. It's already open here. So here we see more or less the same information, but uh, the dashboard is so kind that it uh, also provided the hash for the was module that is uh, part of the proposal. Okay, let's go through it from top to bottom. And the first part is the title. Here we see that uh, this specific canister ID we're gonna upgrade. And to verify which canister is this, we can use the system canister list and here we see that this is NS uh, UI indeed, which is our NS tab. Okay. Now the summary. So the summary is something that provided by the creator of the proposal. Here we have the commit of the release, the URL of the CI. that we can check its green. So according to CI, the release is healthy. You will see that F8, 15, AF, 13. This should be our commit, correct. Okay, and then the changelog. The changelog was uh, manually written by committers that they think is worth mentioning. The commit log is the part, uh, it's a match request into main branch uh, that was done between releases. And the most important is the wasm verification block. So this is how we can check that uh, the wasm that will be installed uh, is the same that was mentioned in this proposal text. So first let's go to the repository page. Okay, Definity NSDAP looks good. And we need to clone it to be able to build. So here I have the Linux machine and now I'm gonna clone the NSDAP repository and verify. Okay, the next step is git fetch. We just clone it so it's not necessary, but yeah, we need to go there. Uh, for me, it's not necessary, but if you have this branch before, then it makes sense to run. Okay, then we check out the release commit. By the way, we can check that 
here is what it is indeed. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, the next step. So this script here helps to ensure that the code used to generate wasm for a canister upgrade is from verified and reviewed uh, commit of the main branch. Let's run it. It's okay. It's good. And this is the almost final step of the verification. We're gonna build the wasm that will be installed into canister. Because, uh, because there is no automatic uh, verification uh, to ensure that the provided code truly corresponds to the wasm. And the final step of the wasm verification is to get the hash. So here we have our hash that we can indeed this is the hash that was mentioned both in the description and in the dashboard was a module. Okay, what else can be verified? Actually the canister arguments. So all those properties will be provided to the NNS app and used as the environment variables. For this, uh, first we can check that we have them indeed in our repository and then encode them and check do they match. They are. Additionally, you can verify the code changes uh, between releases. Okay, it's uh, here we can see all, all of them. Actually, let's compare the list. Is it the same? Yes, it is. And this is more or less it. By following these steps, you can confidently verify that the wasm file that is used in the proposal was built from this specific state of the code. Thanks for watching and supporting the internet computer. See you next time. Bye bye.